Razabani for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm delighted to have with me uh, in front of me here in Fresno, Jonathan Gonzalez. Gon Jonathan, firstly, how are we doing? Uh, I'm well. Doing good, man. Good. It's good to the reason I say face to face is because over the, obviously over the last 18 months we've been living this crazy world where most of the interviews that we've been conducting have been at home from Zoom, etc. So it's uh, it's nice to get out and and see fighters face to face. Yeah, yeah. It's like um, you were. Um in our house do nothing you now because the pandemic but now we go we get uh i'm vaccinated you know and i get the opportunity to just go out walk around and see see the nature man absolutely um john for coming off the uh, a great tk victory over obviously um Amanda torres he's gonna you got a different test this weekend obviously the world champion in elvin soto i've just spoken to elvin and even though you have losses on your record he expects the best Jonathan Gonzalez on, on Saturday night. How big is this opportunity for yourself against Elvin on Saturday? Um, right now I think this is one of, this is my um, last opportunity to, to for a world title fight. That's my mind. Um, I know the kind of fighter um, Elvin Soto can be. That's why we have trained hard, hard. We have trained with Raul for this, for this, for this, for this, for this fight, you know. And the cap has been well, have no no excuses, you know, this is going to be a good fight and I'll, I'll, I'll guarantee that I'll be, I'll be the winner on Saturday night. What have you seen in Elwin that makes him a tough fighter? I see he's a, he's a, a great puncher. He's a great puncher. He's a great Mexican fighter, you know, Mexican fighter come to bring war. But I like I told you, I've been, I've been preparing for over, over 10 to 12 weeks and that's why I'm saying I'm 100% for this fight. Over his last couple of, couple of performances, he's won most of his fight. I believe he's lost just that one. Have you looked much into his loss and, and looked out what you could gain and, and achieve from that loss? Um, truly, I don't, I don't know who he lost with because he was in, in front in his, when he started his career, person, a personal career. Um, I've seen a lot, lot, little bit of fights um, about um, Acosta, when he fought Acosta, um, when his last fight with Takayama. We have seen him, we have seen him, we, and I think this is going to be a good fight, man. You're a very tricky fighter yourself, um, and I'm sure you've got full faith in your ability. Would you say this is going to be one of your toughest fights so far? Um, truly, I, I always I think if in this fight it, it will be tough if I want to be tough. Um, I will use my intelligence, my boxing skills, and maybe it could be a short night, but I'm expecting a long night. You're obviously here in Fresno, it doesn't have too many boxing events. It's going to be a great atmosphere. I believe the ticket sales have gone well as well. So excited to showcase your skills with, with fans in the stadium as well. Yeah, for me, this is a big opportunity. Match room um, with Mikey Garcia, you know, um, fighting the same stage as Marky. He's a great fighter. He's one of the legends here, and a boxing legend. And uh, this is going to be a big, a big, big opportunity for me. And hopefully, I know we're going to win. And we're going to keep on fighting, man. No, absolutely. Just finally, can you give me a prediction how this is going to go down on Saturday? I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't have prediction. But if it's going to be a tough fight because I want it to be a tough fight. Um, Saturday night, I'm going to go do my job with my experience. That's going to be the, 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 the thing for me to win, my experience. Jonathan, we wish you all the very, very best on Saturday night and for the rest of your preparations over the next coming days. And I'm sure we'll catch up with you after the fight. Thank God, man. Thank you. Jonathan Gonzalez for IFL TV. Thank you very much.